The two plots below show data for four companies codenamed A, B, C and D over the years 2019, 20 and 21. The first plot shows revenues and cost incurred by companies during these years. For example, in 2021, company A earned 100 crores and spent 30 crores. Sorry, company C in 2021. Okay, this number. Revenue of 100 and cost of 30. Yeah, lovely. Nice crap. Right, so, A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D. I have A for 19, 20, 21, 3 years. B for 21, 19, 20. Yeah, each company, 4 companies, 3 years. It should be 12 points here. I think the color coding is by year. 2019 is blue and 2020 is orange, 2021 is grey and blue goes with triangle, orange goes with square and the, the grey goes with circle and the, the company names are mentioned, beautiful. Profit of a company is defined as its revenue minus its costs, understandable. The second plot shows the number of employees employed by the company, employee strength at the start of each of these three years as well as the number of new employees hired each year, new hires. For example, company B had 250 employees at the start of 2021. Company B 2021, 250 employees at the beginning of the year. 30 new employees joined the company during the year. Nice. So at the end of the year, it should have been 250 plus 30 to 80. And assuming people didn't leave. Quite possible that people didn't leave. We'll have to see the 2022 number to see that. These are new hires. Obviously, people were quitting as well. But I didn't account for that. 250 is the strength at the beginning of the year. And 30 new have been added in that year. Considering all three years, which company had the highest annual profit? So revenue high and cost low is profit territory. And so in all of these questions, I really like to break this as, okay, draw this line. From this side, I'm happy. From this side, I'm less happy. I so more to the right, this bottom right quadrant is my happy quadrant. Right? Top left is my unhappy quadrant. And so now let's add some numbers to it. This number, 100 minus 30, this is 70 crore profit. It's a lot of money. So I already like C. Right? So, uh, let's see the C numbers. C is more profit than this, B. The next C number is here, 20, 2019 C is here, 2019C didn't make too much money, but 20 and 21 are good, big numbers, big money, but all three years is uh, profitable. D is loss making here, so I think we can ignore D, D is here, slightly profitable, not much, nothing at all, so I'm going to ignore D. Let's look at A, B, C, B doesn't make any money this year. They had some profit, but cost is also high. Where is the third B here? No, this is more than this. This number is more than this. This and this are comparable. The third B is right here. Maybe B I'll think about, but I'm, I'm nudging towards C. A, A is here, nicely profitable. Here, nicely profitable. There is a third A here, not so profitable. So I think the C, let's compute it anyway. This is 90 minus 40, this is 50. Uh, this is 90 minus 65, 25. 90 minus 85, 5 here. 25 plus 5, 2020. 2021 is 60 minus 30, 30. No, A is out. C, that one year alone is 70 crores. A is out. B is 50. What else here? We'll have 100 minus 75, 25, 25 plus 50. Where is the third B? This is loss making. 50 plus 25 is 75. One year alone is 70. It's a big chunky number. It's making slight profit here and slight profit here. Here it is 70 minus 60, 10 crores here. Maybe 25 minus 25 crores here. 70, 10, 85. B is at 75 or lesser. So C is my answer. Computing is possible, doable, plonk it in, but scanning it and getting a feel for it is that much better. See, this number is big. It eats up everything else. 
which of the four companies experienced the highest annual loss in any of the years? Nice. This we have already done. Annual loss in any of the years. Anything to the left is loss making. Anything to the right is profit making. Uh, B and D may have made some, some, some 10 lakh, 15 lakh loss. D, this is loss making. 20 minus 50, 30. 30 of 30 units. Maybe it's gross. Yeah, 30 crore loss. Maybe it's a startup which is getting funded to the gills. So D is dead. The ratio of a company's annual profits to its annual cost is a measure of its performance. Profit by cost is a measure. Which of the following had the lowest value in this ratio of 2019? 2019, C, C profit. Maybe the this number is 25. So this is 5 by 20. Cost is here. Nice. Here the companies had the lowest ratio. C is 5 by 20. Profit by cost. Uh, A in 2019. A has 90 minus 85. 5. 5 by 85. I think that's going to be the answer. 5 by 85 is very small. Let's look at B 2019. B 2019 is here. 100 minus 75 is 25. 25 by 75 is one third. That's also high. One fourth, one third. High number. Let's look at D. D 2019. 50 minus 40 is 10. 10 by 40 is one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, one third, one eighty fifth. It's a dramatically small profit to cost. The four companies had the lowest value of this ratio. This, this company A. Close to that, that this tram line. If you're close to this, your, your profit number is very small. The numerator is very small. And way higher. Cost is high, low profit, high cost. Profit by cost, lowest company A. The total number of employees lost in 2019 and 20 was the least for lost in 19 and 20 so think about 19 to 21 beginning of 19 to beginning of 21 and so this is flat no change 19 to 21 19 to 21 I've gone from 210 to 240 this is plus 40 B has added 40 people C is flat, same, zero. Net change is zero. D, 19 to 21 is zero. So, the number of employees lost, I'm, I'm, I'm going to interpret it as number of people who have quit, who have gone away. And so, here the net change is zero. So, the additions in 19 and 20, they were left. That many people have left. How many people have been added 19 and 20? In 1920 have been added. In 20, 35 have been added. 55 added and subtracted from A. B, the net additions have been 40 and have added 19 and 20. 35 and 45. Brought in 80 people, but the total is only 40. So in B, it is plus 80 minus 40 giving me a 40. My total has gone up by 40. I have added 80 and 40 have left giving me a 40. So how many people have left? 40 have left. 50 have left A, 40 have left B. They quit and gone somewhere else. C, my net change is 0. How many have added at 19 and 20? Oh, this is high. 40 and 45. 85 people have been recruited, but my total headcount doesn't change. So 85 people have left, not this 85. Some 85 have left. 85 people have left. D, it's lower. Add 19 and 20. In 19, we added 30. In 20, we have added 35. 65 have been added and 65 have left. D, 85 have added and 85 have left. Okay, maximum for B. The total number of employees lost in 2019 and 20 was the least for. I've been thinking about maximum. It's about 65 for D, 85 for C, 55 for A, and only 40 for B. I'm looking at B. 
the total head count from 19 to 21 has gone up by about 40. They have recruited 35 plus 45, 80. So they have lost 40, but they have lost only 40. C and D have lost a lot. They have recruited a lot, the head count has not changed. A has recruited some, but their head count has not changed. So A from 19 to 20 is no change. 19 to 21 is no change. But they recruited 25 here and 35 here. Sorry. 20 here and 35 here. 55 recruited, but no net change. So 55 people have left. B, only 40 people have left. That's the answer. Profit per employee is a ratio of a company's profit to its employee strength. For this purpose, the employee strength in the year is the average of the employee strength at the beginning of the year and the end of the year, beginning of the next year. In 2020, which of the four companies had the highest profit per employee? 2020, profit and then employee strength. And first, I want to look at profit number, then we'll come to employee strength. So, which of these, let's draw this, this is the employee strength, this is the profit number line. In 2020, D is loss making, so I'll forget D. Right. 2020 A, profit is 85 minus 65, this is, sorry, 90 minus 65, A makes 25 crore profit. Let's go to B. B in 2020, looking at the year 2020, we're thinking about profit to employee strength. How much profit is each employee bringing in? B 2020, B 2020, B 2020 here. It's a nice number. 90 minus 40 is 50. 50 crore profit is a lot. Huge. C 2020 is here. Very less profit. 70 minus 60, 10. I'm already thinking B, B is twice away, and five times as much as C, so the ratio should be high. Let's look at employee strength. Uh, beginning of the year and end of the year, average. So, in 2020, which of the four companies had the highest profit per employee? 2020 and 21, average workforce we need to think about. 20 and 21, employee strength is 150 and 140. Average is 145. B 20 and 21 is higher. Is 250 and 240, 245. I think this is still higher. I don't have to worry about C. I think not going to change too much. 20 and 21. 325, 325, 325. This is too small. Between A and B, but B shades it. It's 145. That's 245. But this is twice it. Two, two times profit. Profit is double. Whereas the employee headcount is not double from here to here, we are not doubling, just going up by some number. Profit per employee is highest for the 